What's up, everyone? Welcome to Power Play with CJ. Today we're focusing on the Pittsburgh Penguins, showing, uh, you know, bringing the inevitable around. It's showing Danny Bilesman, Ray Shero the door. Uh, you know, I think it was, you know, you had to have seen it coming, especially for for uh, Bilesman. I mean, I was, I mean, I'm not saying I'm not completely shocked, but I was more shocked by the Ray Shero firing than I was at Bilesman. I mean, both guys are integral parts, and the Penguins won in their first Stanley Cup in almost 20 years in 2009. And then, um, you know, they've been a great team, regular season team since then, but haven't uh, been able to, to get it done in the postseason. And, uh, you know, look at the, the playoff collapse this year against the Rangers. Obviously, last year's collapse against the Boston which we'll get to in one second. Uh, you know, the, the Flyers debacle. And then, you know, even going back three years, the Tampa Bay Lightning collapse. Um, you know, I thought they, they were up 3 They were up 3 1 against Tampa. And then, you know, I know they didn't have Crosby or Malkin, but still, blowing a 3-1 lead, you know, two out of the last four playoffs here, you know, playoff seasons you've played in uh, is, uh, you know, not a good look for the franchise. But going a step further, I think last year's um, no-show in the conference finals against the Boston Bruins was the single most disheartening loss out of all of them because they went down a fourth straight. They, they barely showed up. I mean, and that was, they, they won all in that year. They went out, they acquired Murray, they acquired Morrow, they acquired Aginla. They gave up a ton of assets to get those guys. And really nothing to show for it. I mean, they didn't make the finals. And not only did they not make the finals, the conference finals, they were they were abysmal. I mean, the Boston Bruins pushed them around the ice. And then, you know, they beat them on the scoreboard and they beat them up on the ice. I mean, it was one of the most humiliating losses I'm sure in the history of the franchise for the Penguins because there was no fight in that team at all. And that's, you know, that's, you know, that was a cause of concern then and I think they kind of they kind of punted and said, all right, you know, we'll deal with this next year. And uh, when push came to shove, uh, they, um, you know, they, they deal with it by firing their head coach and, and general manager. You know, would they have been better suited this season had they done that last year? I, I don't know. You know, I don't think so. I think uh, it's almost completely certain Mark Andre Fleury will be gone. If you read the piece I wrote for Rant Sports, I talked about them and the Kings pulling off a blockbuster. Fleury, Malkin, uh, L.A. and Kopitar and Quick going to Pittsburgh. Do I think it would happen? Probably not, but it's, it's something kind of cool to, to think about. Um, you know. But we'll see what happens with uh, with that. I mean, I, and I think Pittsburgh, again, they amnesty flurry. They got some options, you know, to get the goalie. In terms of the next head coach, um, that's a good question. That's a really good question. Maybe, maybe Barry Trotz. Supposedly Mike Keenan. We'll see how that, uh, how that works. Uh, it could be, at the very least, intriguing because, you know, Mike Keenan's... Uh, it, it, there are times when it's John Tortorella look like, you know, a big cotton ball because it's pretty tough, Mike Cannon. But it's um, it's gonna be a situation to watch because I mean, I I think it'll be the most sought off, sought after coaching position because you got two of the preeminent players in the game. You have a great franchise, a great hockey city, uh, you know, a team that really has established identity. You know, a loyal fan base that's been reestablished since Crosby Malkin came to town. You know, six seven years ago, or seven or eight years ago, excuse me. So they got that going for them, and uh, we'll see what happens going forward. Um, in terms of next general manager, I'm not gonna even begin to tell you. Is it Benning from the Bruins? Would be a good one. Uh, you know, kick the tires on a few other guys, but that's um. We'll, we'll see what happens over the next few weeks with that. I think they'd like to have the GM and coach settled upon well before the draft, but we'll see what happens. Anyway, that's all I got in some sort of the power play with CJ on the Pittsburgh Penguins firing Danny Bilesman, Ray Shero. Stay tuned for episodes throughout the playoffs and beyond. Later, guys.